Hi and welcome back to Mountain Aromatics. Today I'm going to go over Cedra Amber. Cedra Amber from IFF and it is 48 hours on the test strip. It is a middle base note. There are places that consider it a middle note and there are places that consider it a base. So I put middle base. There you go. Um, it is um, a little dry. It's um, definitely diffusive. Um, it's a true ambergris note and with some wood aspects, um, cedar wood aspects. So the other name for this is cedral methyl ether. Um, you won't see that in too many places, but you will see it in some places. Um, cedar methyl ester, I mean ether, E-T-H-E-R. Um, again, it's from IFF. It is um, very diffusive. So this is a great alternative to the natural ambergris. This would be a great alternative. There are a few alternatives, but this is one. Um, it goes well, so um, it goes well. Let me tell you, let me just back up, hold on. So at 100%, it's very soft. It's not overpowering at all, even though it's a woody note. But why? Because of the ambergris. The ambergris is typically really soft and light, almost not detectable. And this is kind of one of those where it's almost, almost, it is, but almost not detectable. Super soft. Um, but it's a hidden powerhouse. So when it goes in your formula, it's very diffusive and it's like, it's this little bitty thing and then it explodes in your formula. It really is diffusive. So that is why watching this is a very good thing because you just wouldn't know that. And you're like, oh, what, you can't smell it. It's not strong at all. I'm gonna use a ton of it, um, but don't. So here on the test strip, um, it is at 50%, 50%, and it's still very soft, ambergris, more ambergris than woody. I think I already said that, that, but just to make sure. It's just very soft, and but I think the important thing that I want to tell you um, how best to use this is what it goes with. And using, using it in conjunction with a few other materials is the key to this. And that's kind of interesting because there are a number of materials, like putting it alone, um, it's like whatever. And then when you add specific materials with it in a formula, they all work really synergistically and do an amazing job. So here's what they are. Vertifix. Vertifix is um, methyl cedral ketone, um, but Vertifix, it has a little bit of, it's definitely more wood, cedar, and a little bit of leather, which I love. So I really like Vertifix a lot. Um, Vertifix um, Coer, C-O-E-U-R. And just to be clear, I just underlined the Vertifix. Um, Ambroxan, Ambroxan, um, there's a few names for that. Ambroxan, um, by two manufacturers under that name, um, KO and IFF. And basically the um, same product, um, Ambrofix, F-I-X, Ambrofix is by Jividon. Um So same product, different names, and um, Ambroxan by that name from KO and IFF. That goes really well with this as well. And then Fixiter 505. 
that is another one. When you, um, put these and you'll be like, do I have to do all three of these with this? No, you could do just these two together or this together or this together, or you can do these three together or the, or whatever combinations that you want to do. So if you're missing one or two of these, that's fine. But if you have Cedra Amber, it would kind of behoove you to have one of these three to blend, at least one of these three to blend with this. It just will make it do a much better job of what it's going to do. So um, with the Ambroxan, I wanted to say um, that um, it's Ambroxide and it is a naturally occurring terpen terpenoid. And um, yeah, just wanted to say that. So I just have some notes and I, I have notes, whatever. It makes me not forget stuff so I don't leave stuff out to tell you. So um, it is what it is. I have some notes. Um, the other thing that this goes with that is a little bit different than that, but hey, when you have a formula, some things that go well with it that are not in the same category um, is your um, cyclamine aldehyde, C-Y-C-L-A-M-E-N, cyclamine aldehyde, and your Lyrol. Now, some of you in, another, in other countries, I believe like in the UK, that kind of a thing, um, Liliol. L I L A L Lilol Lilol. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, you may have Lilol, you may have Lyrol. L Y R A L. Um, so either one of those, this is going to go well with. Um, but definitely, if um, if you only picked one, I would go with the Vertifix with this. Anyway, I hope that is um, helpful and this obviously um, you can add your florals and go in that direction. You can go in more of a wood citrus direction or a citrus direction or just a wood direction. But the citruses work well. The woods work well. The, um, with the florals, um, I don't know, I would probably go in the direction of the orange blossom. Um, so you could do orange blossom and orange essential oil, um, with your citruses over there and add some other woods with this and that would be amazing. Um, So with the orange blossoms, what I would do if I were you, the Arantia, the Arantia is super, super thick and like really hard to, I have a 50% is the bottom line, but you can get it at the 100%. It's just good. It's really difficult to work with. So I have a 50% um, Arantia. Arantia um, is the basically like the um, um, very much like orange blossom. It's like orange essential oil with orange blossom. So it's not as narcotic and heavy as the orange blossom and it's not as complex. It's almost like a 50% orange essential oil and um, some orange blossom in there. But this is a fixative that is why this is awesome and important. It's because it's a great fixative, even though it's almost like citrusy. So when you need a good, when you've gone in the citrus direction of orange, a fixative for that is Arantia. Um, but for me, I would, if I were doing the Cedar Amber, this is a good one to go in there if you were going to go in the orange blossom direction. That would help and be awesome. 
So I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, don't forget, I have an Etsy page. So if you want to check out those products, I'll have the link below. And I appreciate you joining me. And I will see you. Um, oh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next Mountain Aromatics.